In this video, I will show you how to install the Nmap box. The Nmap box is a free and open source plugin for QGIS, a free and open source geographic information system that has been developed to visualize and process remote sensing data and particularly imaging spectroscopy data, as expected from the upcoming Nmap satellite mission. Everything you need to know regarding the Nmap box and its installation can be found online in the documentation at nmapbox.readthedocs.io. Since the Nmap box is a plugin for QGIS, the first step is to install QGIS on your system. QGIS, and therefore also the Nmap box, are cross platform, which means you can install the software on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. For this video, I will demonstrate the installation on a Windows machine, but the process is quite similar for other operating systems. You can find specific instructions for your operating system in the documentation I just mentioned. In case you do not have QGIS installed yet, go to QGIS.org. Click the Download Now button, which will direct you to the Download section. Here you find operating system specific download instructions. Windows users are advised to use the standalone installer. Select the recent QGIS version, download it, and install. Additional information on the installation process is provided in the QGIS documentation. To install the Nmap box, open QGIS and navigate to the menu bar and go to Plugins. Manage Install Plugins. In the All tab, search for Nmap box. Now you see the corresponding entry in the list. Select it and click on Install Plugin. This may take a few moments. Once the installation is done, you see a notification in a blue highlighted box that the plugin was successfully installed. Sometimes there will also be an experimental release of the Nmap box available, which comes with the latest features and newer implementations. This might be of interest to you, so let me show you how to install this special Nmap box version. In order to see experimental versions in the plugin manager, go to the Settings tab and activate the option. Show also experimental plugins. You now go back to the All tab and the Nmap box entry, you see a hint in reddish color over a yellow highlighted area that an experimental version is available. Further, a separate installation button to upgrade to this version shows up. Whenever there is a new release available for the Nmap box, it will be indicated. To update the plugin, you would use the same dialog window of the plugin manager as shown. After you installed or updated the Nmap box, you need to restart QGIS. After you installed the Nmap box, you can start it from the icon in the QGIS plugin toolbar or from the menu bar under Raster, Nmap box. When you open the Nmap box for the first time, you will most likely see a warning saying that Python packages are missing. This is normal. Besides the Python packages that come with the default QGIS installation, the Nmap box needs additional packages in order to have its full functionality. There are two ways to install them, which I will demonstrate to you in the following. First, you can open the internal package manager of the Nmap box by either clicking the whitish Install Missing button in the warning message or from the menu bar under Project Package Installer. Per default, the package installer will list all missing packages. You can install them by clicking the Yes to All button and continue by clicking Ignore. This will install all required packages in the background. Per default installation of the packages is done using the package installer for Python, straight to the user directory as this does not require admin rights. When the installation is finished, it is recommended to close the Nmap box and restart QGIS again. Another way to install the missing Python packages is directly from the command line. This is usually more reliable, and if you encounter problems with the package installer, use this option. Before continuing, make sure QGIS is closed. Go to the Windows Start menu, and within the folder QGIS, you can find the OSGO4W shell. Very important to note here, you need to run the OSGO4W shell as an administrator. You can do so by holding Control Shift and clicking on the OSGO4W shell shortcut or right click and choose Run as Administrator. Running the shell as an administrator can be seen in the upper part of the dialog window. In the first place, 
you would need to activate the Python 3 environment. Type py3 underscore env and press enter. Depending on your QGIS version, this might or might not be necessary. If this call returns an error, as this is the case here, just ignore it and continue by entering the actual installation command. It is easiest to copy this one-line command from the installation instruction in the documentation that I've shown you in the beginning of the video. Confirm with Enter, and the installation process will be started. This might take a moment, and progress will be printed in the shell. Once finished, the package installation is done, and you can close the OSGO4W shell and start QGIS and the Nmap box. Great. Now we are ready to go and can start exploring and analyzing imaging spectroscopy data. Let me show you something exciting. The Nmap box comes with a test data set, which you can use to explore the software. In order to download and open it, go to the Project tab in the menu bar and select Load Example Data. If you load the test data set for the first time, you will be asked to download the data from the repository. As this is true for our case, a dialog window will open. Confirm with yes, and the data set will be downloaded. At this point, you might also want to check out the Getting Started section in the online documentation of the Nmap box. Note that you can access the documentation also from the software itself. Under the Help entry in the menu bar, you find a link to the online documentation, project repository, or, if you encounter any problems with the software, a direct link to report an issue. As with all software, the Nmap box is also under continuous development. Depending on when you watch this video, installations instructions might have changed slightly. Therefore, a good idea is to always check the online documentation to get the most recent information. If you encounter any errors, you can often find help there too by consulting the FAQ and troubleshooting section. This completes my demonstration on how to install the Nmap box on a Windows machine.